Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on conversations and interactions with NPCs. Uh, maybe you want to have a long dialogue chain or you want consequences for your um, actions or your selections in conversation. Basically just going to show you some tricks on how to chain them and get conversations working in Game Maker. So first thing I want to do is put down a trusty numpad uh, and we'll put down a NPC, anything will do. I have Dojira here and we'll go ahead and give them a speaker component with a interact. So we have to come up to the character and press E and then we can say only once. If we only want to have the conversation be uh, only a one time event um, and then we can say start dot convo. So when we come up to the Dojira and press E, we can only do that one time and it will send out a message start.convo. Awesome. Now we'll go to our numpad here and we'll give it a asker. And we'll go ahead and edit the logic and the message required will be start.convo. And here we can um, put a new message in. So uh, which door would you like to pick today? And then we can go ahead and say door one, door two, door three, and door four. And this is the message that will get sent out for each one of the uh, message, uh, answers here. So this one here we can say uh, answer A, answer B, answer dot C, and answer dot D. Okay, so if we select door one, it's going to send out the message answer A. If we select door two, it's going to send out the message B, answer C, answer D for door three, door four, and so forth. All right, so now, uh, because the message required here was start convo, we can do the same with the answers A, B, C, and D. So go ahead and duplicate with control D. We can move this over here, edit the logic, and we can change this to answer, answer A. And then we can go ahead and say, uh, you selected A. Oops, spelling. You selected A. Um, then we can go ahead and control D. And we'll edit the logic. And we'll put answer B. And say you've selected B. Go ahead and control D. And we'll do the same here as well. This will be answer C. And C. And control D. Edit logic, you selected and answer D. Okay, so what we've done now is when we speak to the Dojira, oh, sorry, I've got quests from the previous example, so I'll go ahead and get rid of them. So go ahead and press E, and says, which door would you like to pick today? We'll say door three, it says you selected C. Now we still got the answers here because we duplicated it. So it will go ahead and flick between all of them because they still have the op options. That might be something you want to do, uh, but in this case we don't. So you selected door A and we can say OK. And that message here can be say OK dot one. And we'll go ahead and duplicate this one here. Edit the logic and we can make this one OK dot one. Um, and we can say something like, are you sure? And we can say, yes. And we can say, yes, stop one. And then we can say, have a door here. And that door will only open uh, with yes, stop one, which is what this one here sends. And we'll get rid of the indicator. So the door should be, ah, the door remains open. 
Maybe it's a busted door. Let me just check. Yes, it is. So we'll go ahead and pick a different door here. I've used a few of these doors. I know this one works, so we'll go ahead and use this. And it has a door. And yes, dot one. So now when we speak to the Jira and we say we want to select door one, you selected A, okay. Are you sure? Yes. And then the door opens. And you can have that for four different doors. And you can chain it as well. So here it says you selected B. We write awesome. Or I change my mind. And we'll get rid of these two selections. So we can say uh, door two open. If you say awesome, and we'll go ahead here and we'll say open uh, door two open. So we'll go ahead and talk to Dojira. If we select door two, select B, awesome. And then there's your consequence. Uh, and you can chain it as long as you want. Um, as long as the message being sent out in the answer goes to another asker where that message is required, you can keep going forever and ever. And you can have different paths. Um, and you can also backtrack too. So for here, I said, I changed my mind. Um, so this one here is start.convo. So all we have to do here is for I change my mind, we'll go say start.convo, which means when you select I change my mind, it will send out that message, which ends up going back to this asker here. Um, and it will start asking you again. So we'll test that out. Door two. Awesome. We'll open it. I change my mind. We'll bring you back to the options. Door one. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. And there you go. So that's with the askers. Uh, maybe you want a conversation between two NPCs or something like that. So we'll just have two people looking at each other. I have given examples in the past of this, but I got um, different ways of doing things. So let me show you this one here. We'll go ahead and give this a health component. And for this one here, we can say start dot convo which will kill this uh, and it will destroy it it will send a message convo dot one to the tag convo dot one so what we can do here is we'll duplicate and we will put the tag convo dot one and the message to kill it will be convo dot one uh, we want it to wait, say, five seconds before it dies. And when it does, it will send out convo.2 to convo.2. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that. And we'll change the convo1 tag to convo2. Edit the logic. Change the death message to convo2. And then a new message will be sent as convo3. And you can do this as long as you want. And you just have to make sure you change the tag. Change the instant message on def uh, and you can change the timer on each one as well so if you want a really long dialogue you might need longer uh, to display or if you want something quick you can just put two seconds uh, but then again these messages get sent so bring out another another asset this one here we're going to make invisible and we're going to have no collisions as well so the player can't really run into it and we'll drag it above the head of the asset that we want to talk. Um, and we'll give it a speaker component here. And we can say, hello, something plain, how are you? Question mark. And the message we want here is uh, start convo. And we don't need a tag for this one because the, when we speak to the Dejira and we interact with it, he sends a message, start convo. That will kill this health component straight away and then send the message convo one. 
So what we can do here is put Convo1 on this speaker to keep it easy. So Convo1 and Convo1. Then we can go ahead and duplicate this and bring it over to the other side, to the other player's head, and then change this to Convo2, get rid of Convo1, and Convo2, and then say, not bad, how are you? Awesome. Now we're going to edit logic and explain this part here. Auto hide is five seconds. The timer between these health components is five seconds. If you change one of these health components to three seconds or 10 seconds, you'll need to change the auto hide delay so the message above the head stays uh, above the head as long as you need it to. Okay. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this. We'll go ahead and drag it on this side again. So it's a back and forth conversation. Uh, hold shift if you want to try to line it up uh, and then we change that to convo 3 and go ahead and change that message over here so it's not bad how are you I've seen better days Dojira is not feeling too well today poor Dojira then we'll control D and we'll bring it back on the other side here and then we we'll change that to convo 4 Convo 4, that's not to here. All right, and we'll go ahead and test that out. So we'll go ahead and press E on a Dejira to start the conversation. Ah, now that's because I've got this one listening to the same message. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Um, actually, we can just go ahead and delete the whole asset because we don't need that anymore. I'll go ahead and press E. And as you can see, it says, hello, how are you? After five seconds, the next one destroys. So it's not bad, how are you? It waits five seconds for the next numpad to destroy. And then as you can see, it keeps coming back. Now you can see that it has uh, the name of the asset. Oh, that one didn't send. Did I do something wrong here? Convo 4, Convo 4. Ah, the tag in the save. So go ahead and put that tag there. And that's why the message didn't come back. Okay, so what we can do is we can highlight our numpads and get rid of the name up top up here. So now when we start the conversation, it's clean. Now you don't want the text above and all that space underneath. So all you gotta do is just put a space here. And you can see it's more in the middle. It's still not ideal. And all you have to do is just play around with it. Make sure it all looks good in the text field. And as you can see now that's in the middle, that all looks neat. And you can go ahead and do that for each box. So it's all, all centered and all looking good. But that's how you can get back and forth conversations uh, at the end if you want something to happen all you need to have is uh, duplicates. Uh, we'll change this to Convo4. Uh, the def message will be Convo4. And then you can say end.convo. And that can be sent to anything, to do anything. So um, if you want this guy to be aggressive all of a sudden, you can have predator behavior and you can have toggle behavior as false. Um, and we'll give it the end convo tag and to turn it on will be end convo uh, So the behavior for the predator will be off um, Until it receives the message end convo uh, Which will trigger the uh, predator to activate if we edit the logic he'll attack prey and the avatar uh, we can get rid of the avatar um, Put this as a thousand so it keeps attacking and then we can give poor Dojira over here a prey and we won't make him move we can go ahead and just give him the tag as well uh, and we'll see if that works you can send that end convo message to an asset spawner which then brings out a key uh, and then you can collect that key to complete a quest or open up a door um, you can do all sorts of things, right? Uh, you can send that message anywhere you need it to, to go to do what you need it to do. So now we turned on the predator 
and you can see he's uh, now attacking the Dojira. Um, the same thing with the Dojira, you can put the uh, a Predator on it as well. Um, and yeah, they can start attacking each other. Now, if your Predator is walking away, it's because he's full. Um, so all you need to do here is make his hunger decrease faster. So his hunger can be bigger um, and he will decrease hunger range faster. So he will just constantly attack. Um, eating duration, you can make that 0 0.2 and he'll attack every 0 0.2 seconds instead of every one second, or you can make him attack every five seconds. Uh, that's just a little bonus information there. Uh, but I hope this tutorial has been useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just send me a message on Discord. More than happy to help. Have a great day.